Good morning. We're late today because the Wi-Fi refused to connect. So I wonder which one of you wasn't praying like we talked about yesterday. <laughs> I asked you guys, some of you mature ones, to get on 10 minutes early and pray. Praise God. Would not connect. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What do you do when nothing will work? You stay calm. Because getting rattled doesn't help you a bit. You pray. You can't pray effectively when you're freaking out. So you stay calm. You pray. Good morning, Norwick. It's UK. Good morning. I don't want to hear about in and out. It might be your connection. If you just can't flat hear me, then you can let me know. Don't distract me with a bunch of false alarms this morning, please. Disrupt your rut. Amen. Hello, London. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds. Go ahead and share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Pottsville, Australia. Hello, Atlanta. No distractions. Amen. Let's get started. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. We're going to make up for lost time this morning. Hello, Apostle Stovall. Brisbane, Australia. You need an awakening blaze. Prayer cell. Bahrain, you need a, an Awakening Blaze prayer cell. Go to awakeningblaze.com. We're having our site migrated to a better server this morning, so it might go down for a minute. Good morning, Mississippi. Hello, Tulsa. Apparently the sound works just fine. Please be careful not to give me false alarms when I'm trying to get in the spirit. It's possible I might have taken a pause or taken a breath, and that's why you feel I'm in and out. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to be mean, but I've got a lot of different things I'm balancing here, so the false alarms are troublesome. All right, let's get started. Praise God. Praise God, Jennifer LeClaire here, author of our devotionals, Mornings with the Holy Spirit and Evenings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Today's devotion titled, I Am Always Faithful. Aren't you glad? Isn't that a good word? We could stop right there and praise him for the next 30 minutes and it wouldn't be enough to exult in his faithfulness. Praise God. Here's what I heard the Lord say. I am faithful. I am always faithful. I will not betray your confidence. I will not think differently of you, no matter what you tell me. I will not leave you without help. I will not hold back any good thing from a heart that seeks mine, says God. Whatever you need, I have it. When you need a friend, I'm with you. When you need comfort, turn to me. When you need understanding, I will provide it, says God. I have so much to offer you, but many times you forget to draw from me what you need. I'm reminding you, I'm here for you. <laughs> That's such good news. Today's scripture references 1 Corinthians 1 and 9, Isaiah 41, 13, and John 15, 
15. Yes, he's mega faithful. The prayer starter for today, Holy Spirit, your fruit is faithfulness. You are faithful even when I'm not faithful. Help me to draw from you everything I need to walk worthy of my calling in Christ and run my race in such a way that I will be counted faithful in the end. Father, I thank you this morning for your great faithfulness, your great goodness, your great holiness, your great greatness. You are good. Your mercies, they endure forever. Even when we're not faithful, even when we miss it, even when we're sin, you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You are so, so good. You are a good, good father. We worship you. We exalt the name of Jesus. There is no other God like you, the Holy One of Israel, the great and mighty one. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you our trust. We give you our soul, our mind, our will, our emotions. We submit it to the Lordship of your spirit. We submit it to the great God, the good God, the faithful God. We thank Thank you, Lord. We submit all things to you this morning because you are faithful. You are faithful to complete the good work you started in us. Hallelujah. You are faithful to heal our bodies when we are sick. You are faithful to tr- heal our troubled souls when we are traumatized. You are faithful to deliver us out of the snare of the fowler. You are d- you faithful to deliver us out of our own dumb mistakes. Can you imagine that? Oh, thank you, Lord, that even when we miss it, even when we turn to the right, when you've told us to go to the left, even when we look backwards, when you've told us to look up, you're faithful to redirect us. You're faithful to reorder our steps. You're faithful to help us to make up for lost time. You don't leave us wandering in the wilderness aimlessly, never knowing how, when, where we're going to go from there, but you show us things to come. You encourage our spirit. You speak to our hearts. God, we're thankful. We're thankful that you're faithful. We're thankful that you're faithful. Praise God. That's in, that's, that's in something right there. We're thankful that you're faithful. We're thankful that you're faithful. Somebody just needs to thank him for his faithfulness because the accuser of the brethren, the accuser of God, the devil in some of your lives has been, uh, has been, has been uh, trying to convince you that God is not faithful. Been trying to convince you that God's not going to come through for you. Been trying to convince you that there's no way out. There's no way through. There's no way over or under. I break the accusations the enemy is making against God in your ears. I thank you, Lord. Just like Satan in the garden, that snake so subtle. Oh, so did God really say that? Oh, did God really say that? Did God really say that? Trying to make Eve think that, that God was holding out on her. I thank you, Lord. We will not accuse you. We will not agree with your accusers. We will not agree with the God haters and the God doubters, but we will stand in awe of your faithfulness this morning. You're not trying to hold anything back from us. You're a good good father. If we ask for a gift from you, you're not going to give us a stone. You're not going to give us a snake. You're going to give us a good, good gift in your perfect timing. I thank you, Lord. You're not holding out on us. You're not holding things back from us that we need in this hour. You're trying to get it to us. You're trying to prepare us to receive it. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We're thankful that you're faithful. We're thankful that you're faithful. We're thankful that you're faithful. I want to remember. I want you to remember that we're thankful that he's faithful. Come on. We need to be full of thanks. We need to be full of joy. Praise God. We need to be full of his praises. We need to be full of worship. We need to be full of gratitude. We need to be full of the spirit. Spirit, praise God. God, would you fill us with your spirit even more, even now? Would you fill us with your spirit overflowing that we might have something to give, that we might have something to pour out, that we might have something to offer to somebody else, a word in due season, a prophecy, praise God, a laying on of the hands that brings freedom, deliverance, and healing. Father, I thank you this morning that you're faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Jesus is the faithful witness. We thank you, Lord. We give 
give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We magnify the name of Jesus over the works of the devil. We magnify the name of Jesus over the circumstantial evidence the devil wants to throw up in our face. We magnify the name of Jesus over the pain in our body, over the wounds in our soul, over the attitudes that we can't seem to overcome. We submit it all to you, Jesus. We're faith. We're, we're faithful. We're faithful. We're faithful to you, God, to the degree that we can be God. We say, make us more faithful. Work on our hearts. Work on our minds. Work on our wills. Work on our emotions. Your word tells us that you will make us willing in the day of your power. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that your power is for today. We're not going to be like the Sadducees. Oh, everybody wants to pick on the Pharisees for being legalistic, for being religious. I thank you, Lord, that we're not going to be like the Sadducees either, who deny the power of God, who deny the resurrection power, who deny spirits and angels, who deny those things that are in the supernatural realm. I thank you, Lord. We're not going to have a Sadducee mindset. We're not going to have a Pharisee mindset. We're not going to have any mindset other than the mind of Christ. I thank you, Lord. You've given us the mind of Christ. And if we don't think right, Lord, change our thinking with your word. Knock us off our high horse like you did Paul on the road to Damascus. If we've got a bitter spirit, if we're judgmental, if we're critical, if we're persecuting others, God, knock us off our high horse, God, in the name of the Lord. Help us to see how you are, how you want us to be, how you want us to act, how you want us to move, live, and have our being. Help us, Lord. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody's going to get mad at me. I thank you, Lord. We're not going to judge others because with the judgment, we judge others. It's a boomerang. It comes back and judges us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. We repent even now for all the judgments we've made against others, against our parents, against our family, against old Jesus, against our parents, against our family, against our brothers and sisters in Christ, against our pastor. God, we ask you to forgive us of the judgments that we've made against these others, God, because it's boomeranging back on our head. It's coming back at us. It's setting us up for a big fall. I ask you, Lord, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us that we might not gain interest in the spirit on something we'd sown that we don't want to reap from. God, would you forgive us this morning in Jesus' name? Oh, God's loosening you up this morning. I said he's loosening you up for forgiveness and repentance so he can bring a blessing, so he can reverse the curse. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My God, there's so much going on in the spirit. It's like I'm picking up on this, that, and the other thing that you all are dealing with, that you all are struggling with, that you all are rejoicing over. I'm seeing rejoicing on this side and, 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 and doubt over, over here and, and, and all kind of things in the spirit. Dear God, help me, help me, help me pray. Let's just pray in the spirit for just a moment because this way I can pray according to the Holy Ghost for all of your needs. Whatever it is you need, I'm believing the Holy Spirit is going to help me pray. Let's just pray in the spirit for just a moment. I'm just seeing all kinds of uh, stymies and stalls and delays and oh Jesus. Where do we go from here God? Where do we go from here Jesus? Where do we go from here God? Where do we go from here? I hear the Lord saying come up higher 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 for the Lord would say to you there are some weights that you've been carrying and they're bringing you down they're holding you back it's like I see some of you trying to trying to oh you're just trying to pull it along you're just ah you're trying to drag it along you're trying to it's like a heavy weight you're dragging it's like a heavy weight it's like a heavy weight not all of it's even from your past some of it's from your present you've picked up weight some of you even in the last two three four weeks weeks, even in the last month or so, you've picked up weights. The Lord's wanting you to cast them down, to cast them off. You've picked up weights. You, Some of you have picked up weights of bitterness. There's been something in the last 30 days that has been inflicted upon you. Somebody has done you wrong and there's a bitter root trying, there's a, a bitter seed rather trying to take root. The Lord says, don't let it take root. Cast it out in the name of the Lord. This weight that you're feeling, this weight, this weight, it's the weight of anger. Some of you, it's the weight of 
grief, some of you. It's the weight of just an overwhelming sadness, some of you. It's, 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 it's a weight of, of, of feeling of an injustice for some of you. And there's a bitter seed that's been planted in your heart. But the Lord would say to you, rip it out now. Don't let it take root. Don't water that bitter seed with the words of your mouth. Don't water that bitter seed with the imaginations of your mind. Don't water that bitter seed with your thoughts, your thoughts, your feelings, your feelings. Stop worrying and wandering and weighing it out. The Lord says, let it go. Forgive. Let it go. Forgive. Let it go. Forgive. Let it go. Forgive. Just as I've been faithful to forgive you of the many times that you've hurt my heart with your sin, says God, you must be willing to forgive others who's, who have hurt your heart with their sin. It's a divine exchange this morning. Forgiveness for freedom. If you'll forgive, you can walk free. I said, if you can forgive, you can walk free. Don't let that seed of bitterness take root in you and defile many around you. Don't let it. Don't let it. Don't let it. Don't let it. I see anger. I see anger. I see judgments. I see a grief. I see an extreme sadness. I see all kinds of things uh, that people are carrying on this broadcast. I see all kinds of things that they're carrying on this broadcast. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you're faithful. If we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we ask you to cleanse us even now. We're not going to stand in the place of judgment because we don't want to be judged. We're not going to stand in that place of, of, of better than or, or, or bitterness. Father, we just put it down in Jesus name. We thank you for your forgiveness. God today in the name of the Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We forgive those who have hurt us. We forgive those who have harmed us. We forgive those who have persecuted. We forgive those who have despitefully used us. We forgive those who did not meet our expectations. Ah, there it is right there. There it is right there. Some of you, it's not even some great sin. Listen to me now. That was committed against you. It was an, an unmet expectation. Oh, dear God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your expectations were not met. You expected one thing and you got another. Oh my goodness. And it made you angry. And some of you, it grieved your heart and it made you sad. There it is. It's the unmet expectations. But the Lord would say to you today, lower your expectations because man will always disappoint you. They don't mean it. Lord says, let them off the hook. Let them off the hook. Let them off the hook. Think of the time, says God, that you've disappointed others and you probably even didn't know it all the time. Sometimes you knew it because they came to you, but sometimes you didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know because they didn't say anything. Think of all the times that you had to cancel, that you couldn't come through, that you didn't show up, that you didn't make it, that you didn't answer, that you didn't call back. Think of all those times and understand and know that others are walking the same path. Forgive them. Oh, these expectations, unmet expectations. That's what it is. That's the root of it all today for many of you. That's what it is. That's the root of all of it for many of you today. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you help us, God, that you help us, Lord, to forgive and let go because people are always going to disappoint us. But your word tells us that those who hope in the Lord will never be put to shame. Those who hope in the Lord will never be put to shame. My God, my God, that's it. The unmet expectations unmet expectations, unmet expectations. Some of you, it's from your husband. Some of you, it's from your wife. Some of you, it's from your best friend. Some of you, it's from your pastor, your sister, your, it's, yeah, some of it, it's from church hurt. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Those who hope in the Lord, those who expect great things from the Lord will never be put to shame. Unmet expectations. That's the linchpin today. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. My goodness. That's it. That's it. That's it. Devil tried to keep me off this entire broadcast today. Anybody work for AT&T? Go rebuke the staff. Praise God. And bless them first, though. Hallelujah. Bless them first. Bless them after. It's the expectations. Yep. All the unmet expectations. Oh, my goodness. Listen, I want to invite you. If you have not already, please go sign up for the live stream on the Inner Healing and Mass Deliverance Conference. It starts this Friday. That's tomorrow night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you happen to be listening to this some other time, it's perpetually archived. You can watch it any time you want. 
I believe if you can watch it live, it's really the best. You might be able to then ask questions during the broadcast while someone is actually handling that live feed. Listen, go sign up for our Inner Healing and Mass Deliverance Conference. These are the kind of issues we're going to be tackling. I said a few months ago, who wants me to do this? And everybody said, I do, I do, I do. For some reason that I can't understand, you guys aren't signing up for it now. So don't make me have to go forgive you for my unmet expectation. <laughs> don't make me have to go get before the Lord that you didn't meet the expectation. You asked me for this, guys. You asked me for this. I said, who wants me to do an inner healing and mass deliverance conference? And you said, I do, I do. Hundreds of you, thousands of you. And now no one's signing up. Why is that? Only a few of you. Why is that? You're signed up. Okay, pray for the others. Go to ahop.tv and please sign up. We have a ton of other events that you'll be able to tap into there. We've got the prodigals. Praying for the prodigals. We've got the Jezebel, breaking Jezebel alignments and assignments. We've got the power evangelism. We've got the accelerate. There's all kinds of stuff. It's there. You guys asked me for it. I'm confused. I don't get it. I spent all this money getting a live stream broadcast, hiring a web developer to build a special site to make it easy so we can get off Facebook. I do things on Facebook and like 5,000 people sign up. Now I've invested in this platform because you guys asked me to do it. You're not signing up. But I forgive you. But you do need to go sign up. Yeah, you can't sign up. Okay, I don't, I don't want to hear about the Eventbrite stuff. You can watch later. You can watch later. Eventbrite is only for people who are coming in person. If you want to watch the live stream, you've got to go and sign up. It cost us a tremendous amount of money to get this platform built for you. So please go sign up. I'm trying to watch your... Yeah, the demons don't want you free. Some of you have inner... You've made inner vows. Some of you have bitter root judgments and expectations. Go to ahop.tv. Don't go to Eventbrite and sign up for a live ticket if you're not coming to South Florida. Please, you're confusing, you're, you're confusing the system. And then you're, you're going to be very upset when you don't live stream. Then you're going to be contacting us in the middle of the conference saying, I signed up, but I've been sending emails out every three days reminding you, you've got to go to ahop.tv. 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 It's only $29 to sign up. A lot of people are doing live stream conferences I saw one prophet, if I called his name, you'd know him. He's charging $129 to watch his live stream. All we're trying to do is make, the, make, it, make it affordable for you and make it plausible for us. The live stream platform we signed up for, the, the price on it is $15,000 a year. That's the going rate. Sign up. Go to ahop.tv, please. Don't, don't tell me to go do this conference and let me promise you I'm going to do it. And then don't sign up. Ahop.tv. Go sign up. It starts tomorrow. If you can't watch it, it's tomorrow. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. We're going to have a very hands-on time. It's going to the Saturday afternoon session. I've got handouts. Uh, we're going to get deep Tuesday uh, on the inner healing on Saturday afternoon. Then there's a Saturday night service. And Sunday is the mass deliverance. Last time we did mass deliverance, we saw people delivered all over the world. Because there's no distance in the spirit. So go sign up. That's my pitch to you because I don't get it. You guys, oh, I want this, I want this. And then you don't sign up. So I'm choosing not to have my feelings hurt. But I'm telling you, go, guys, please go sign up. Don't, don't make me regret doing this, all right? Because I'm a steward over God's finances, and I've spent a lot of money doing this for you. So please go sign up, ahop.tv. Now, if you want to sow a seed into the ministry, maybe you don't want to go to the conference. Maybe you don't want to see it. Uh, it's on demand. You can see it till Jesus comes back. You'll have access but maybe you just want to bless me indeed. $29 is not much to, for a live stream, but maybe you want to bless the ministry. We've got the TV show, still waiting on my trailer. It's only been a couple of days. It takes longer to make one than that. I'm probably going to be doing some kind of fundraising campaign officially for that at some point. But I always tell you guys here on my broadcast first, you guys are the first to hear about everything I do. I've not announced this publicly. If you want to sow a seed into the TV ministry, the show is going to be in three quarters of the world, every nation where there's people. It's going to broadcast 12 satellites, eight languages. It's going to be good. 
Um, the, the, it's called Your Prophetic Voice, and the first season is going to be on the Spirit of Jezebel, 13 episodes. How many know I need prayer? If you want to sow into my ministry, you just want to bless me, you want to help me to get the new equipment that I need, even for these podcasts and all these things I'm doing, help me out. I need your help. You go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate, jenniferleclair.org slash donate, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner there. Please look and see on your credit card statements. A lot of people are donating large sums of money and it's not going through. And I know you think that it's going through and it's not. So your heart has been to bless me and it's not going through on your credit card. So uh, it could be that you entered the wrong digit, put in the wrong expiration date, did the wrong code. Or sometimes if you do it on your phone, it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to be on a PC. But we see all these large donations coming in. We're like, wow, that's going to help us with the TV broadcast. And then it's like, oh, transaction failed. So if you really have a heart then go back and look and make sure that it went through uh, if you want to. Now, if you don't care, you don't have to. But I'm telling you, if that was your heart, just so don't let the devil rob from you over a bad credit card number or a a bad CVS code number, all right? Because your heart was to give and God wants to bless you and then the enemy is robbing from you. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can become a partner, so a one-time seed. You can use PayPal, paypal paypal.me. P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal dot M-E slash Jennifer LeClaire. That's great if you're international. It's probably easier for you. You can also go to uh, Tarabashte. Text to give 754-701-2161. 754-701-2161. I have a word I want to share with you in a moment about stalkers. Stalkers on your finances. Stalkers on your finances. I was reading this morning, Lord showed me about stalkers on your finances. I'm going to share that in a minute. If you want to do the uh, check, if you want to mail a check, P.O. Box or a money order, P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida 33009, you can go to uh, my website, jenniferleclair.org, and you can find the address there. Along with all of my books, they're available for order. We autograph them. If you're international and you're trying to order my books, go to my eBay store tinyurl.com slash prophetic books, tinyurl.com slash prophetic books, tinyurl.com slash prophetic books. You can order autographed copies there of all my stuff as well. What else do I have to tell you? School of Spiritual Warfare. Some of you contacted me about that yesterday. Uh, Warfare School. Now you're going to be getting an email of our IT guy setting up an email uh, with the back end registration. Since we changed it, the school doesn't start for about three, about four more weeks. Less, just less than four more weeks where you're going to be getting all that information. So uh, if you've asked once, I'm telling you now, please don't ask five times. You're going to be getting it. I've got to get the guy to give you a special code to get in to the new live stream system. That's going to be much better than Facebook. There will be a Facebook group where we can all talk uh, about what we're learning, but we're going to go into live stream. It's going to be awesome. So hang on. You're going to get that. Uh, those of you who have not signed up for the School of Spiritual Warfare, that early bird special is going bye-bye next week. Please sign up now. Uh, you asked for a payment plan. Again, you guys, I'm going to stop listening to you guys if you don't do what you say. Like you tell me, give me a payment plan that I spend all this money getting a payment plan signed up for you and nobody's using it. So I'm wondering, what's up with you guys? I think that uh, that it sounds good. I think maybe you get busy in the mornings and forget to go sign up. So I'm going to send out an email. Uh, Also pray because my email list, I just got dinged 5,000 people lost because of some goofy problem in the back end. These are all tech issues that you guys got to pray over. Uh, These are all technology issues. 5,000, I can't figure out where they went, what list they were on. Some of them were on Ignite. Some of them were on the writer school. I have to go back through now. They want me to go manually through it. Not going to happen. 5,000, yes, I'm going to sit there all day and do that. No. So we need them to find the backup because they're the ones that deleted it. They need to find the backup and restore my email addresses. Amen. All right. So go to uh, warfareschool.com. This is warfare. Warfareschool.com. Warfareschool.com and sign up. Sign up. Don't wait till the early bird comes and then send me a nasty email like some of you, some, some people, not you guys, I'm sure, but some people did last time. Okay, there's that's the way that it works. There's an early bird, so we can we can get a, a, get a gauge for who's coming, what we need to invest in. After that, it's a different price. Go to the uh, warfare school now and sign up. If you want prophetic training, you need to go to nextlevelprophetic.com and sign up. Okay, if you want writers training, you want, need to go to jenniferleclair.org/writerschool and sign up. So, so we have all these different things for you uh, to to be able to. 
and learn and grow in these realms. Now, if you're not part of the Ignite Network, you need to be part of the Ignite Network. I'm about to go to London, and I'm going to be doing uh, updates from London like I did from Singapore, teaching you along the way uh, to, to, so you can learn and grow in that realm of, of travel. Uh, that's not the only kind of updates I'm going to be doing, but that's one of the kinds of updates uh, that I'm going to be doing. Ahop.tv. It works fine for me. Uh, all you got to do is type in A-H-O-P. Dot TV. I'm going to do it right now. Ahop.tv. And voila, there it is. Works just fine. Ahop, A-H-O-P dot TV. All right, praise God. You can go there. It's easy. Just takes a moment to register. Works just fine. Now, um, the uh, y'all freak me out when you start telling me that, uh, uh, that my stuff's not working when I'm on these prayer calls because I know it's working. I think sometimes it's, it doesn't pull up on your phone. Um, ignite, the, the address to mail a check is P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33009. Go to the bottom of the page. And the, the, the sign up works just fine. Okay. All you got to do is scroll down, see where it says get started next to my beautiful picture. Hit that. It takes you to the bottom and you hit get started on whichever plan you want. And you can fill out your stuff from there. Okay. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. Persevere guys. This is a brand new site. If one button's not working, just, you know, either you've got a mouse and you just scroll down. That's where you'll find it. Luckily, this is a real super easy, uh, complicated site. It's not complicated. Like some other sites are super. Just scroll down. You'll find it. Persevere. This is a brand new site. I will ask the guy about the sign-up button if that's not working for you. Uh, if, it, if it works for me, doesn't mean it necessarily works for you, I suppose. So we will ask him about that. But just scroll down. All right, I'm losing what you guys are saying there. I don't know. It works fine for me. We've been getting orders all night. We got orders all day yesterday. It works. We'll test it again for you. Um, but please make sure it's not an error on your end because every time when you tells me that, I have to pay a guy to test it again, and it's a real drain on the resources, okay? There you go. Persevere. Try everything on your end to make it work because it's working. And every time you insist it's not working, I have to hire an IT guide to fix it. And that's going to cost me 80 bucks. So please just make sure, just scroll down, just click the button. Okay, I know sometimes you've you got to get on a PC, not on your phone. Okay, now, I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm just saying, persevere, figure it out. It's, it's, not, it's, a, it's a simple site, all right? 3953 Hallandale Beach, Florida. IT guys charge 80 bucks an hour, and they don't do partial hours, okay? So once you get them to do something, it's 80 bucks. All right. Persevere. Worked for you. I'm glad it worked for you. All right. I do want to know if it's not working, but I don't want to hear false alarms. Please. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work on a cell phone. Sometimes it doesn't work on a cell phone. Sometimes your cell stuff blocks stuff. All right. All right, we're getting into all this admin stuff that I don't want to get into on this prayer, prayer call. Okay, ask a kid to help. <laughs> you do it on your computer. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's no pop-ups on our site. Do it on a computer. Don't do it on your cell phone. That might be your answer. Sometimes your cell phones don't work right, okay? I hate to get into all this admin stuff when I'm trying to teach you spiritual stuff, okay? So let's move off this. Some of you others who, who have signed up, Teach them how to do it. Show them how to do it. I know sometimes if you've not used something ever, it can be complicated. Um, but this is really super simple. You just scroll down, hit get started, and, uh, and sign up. Okay? All right. Thank you for that. Now, I wanted to tell you about these, uh, these financial stalkers, but I don't know if you guys want to hear that, if you want to keep talking about websites let me know if you have time for it I know we're late we're running late 
I'm trying to be patient. Praise God. It's fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. It's a fruit of the Spirit. I'm trying to be patient. You should see some of the emails we get in our office. It's absolutely will test every last bit of your patience. You want to hear about the stalkers? All right. I didn't know because we, we went overboard today because of the time limit and then all the t- natural talk. I didn't know if you guys, are you guys still in the spirit? You still in the spirit? <laughs> you know I love you guys. I've got to tell you like it is. Otherwise, otherwise you don't learn. Yeah, sometimes that CVV code acts like pop-up. Yeah, it can. It can be annoying. All right, let's let's go back and talk about this now. Here's the thing. The Bible talks about in Proverbs 25 about about those who who slumber and sleep. Now, here's the thing. I should just read this to you. Let me see if I could just find it in my Bible real quick. It's Proverbs 25, and I've used the scripture many times in the context of teaching about the prophetic and about how the Lord would show people things in the prophetic and how they can miss it. Uh, but I'm going to show you from another perspective today. I'm going to turn to my Bible so that I don't misquote the scripture. I want to read it to you so you can hear it. Where is it here? Proverbs. Is it Proverbs 25? It's Proverbs 24. He said, I went by the field, sorry, it's Proverbs 24, starting at verse 30. I went by the field of the slothful and the vineyard of the man void of understanding. Now catch that right there, void of understanding, okay? Void of understanding. Remember I said that. And it was grown all over with thorns and nettles covered its surface and the stone wall was broken down. Then I saw and considered it and I looked on it and received instruction Yet a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so your poverty will come like a stalker, and your need as an armed man. Your need as an armed man. What is the Lord saying? What he, he, the, you know, the Bible has s- always several layers, meanings, and revelations you can, you can get out of it according to a rhema word. You know, there's the logos word, and there's the rhema where the Lord really shows you something. And so he went by the field of the slothful. Now, now, some, now there's several things here. Don't get offended because this does not all apply to everybody, but it may all apply to somebody. The slothful. If you're slothful in the, in your, with your finances, it just means that you don't tend to them you're not a good steward of them okay if you're slothful in anything it just means that you're you're not you're not you're not uh you're not uh you're not tending to it you're not taking care of it so he went by the field of the slothful and the vineyard of the man of void of understanding he, like listen check it he was void of understanding he didn't have understanding i think this is where the biggest issue is with most of us if we're struggling in financial lack the slothful part means you're not tithing, you're not giving, you're not being a good steward. Listen, you're not being a good steward. You don't know your accounts. You don't balance your checkbook. Uh, you, you're not. You're not. You're not. Uh, you're not handling things well. Maybe you're bouncing checks. If that's you, you st- I'm not trying to condemn you. Listen, if that's you, it's. I'm not trying to condemn you. I'm trying to set you free, okay? Because I don't judge you. I've. I've. And I've in my lifetime, I've bounced checks. In my lifetime, I've not bounced my checkbook. There was a point in my lifetime where the, the, I did these things. I corrected it and I prospered, okay? So if you're slothful in your finances, this is one of them. The other one is the man void of understanding. See, if you don't understand the principles of financial issues, if you don't understand the principles of finances in the kingdom, kingdom finances, then you're not going to be maximized in your blessings. You must understand what the Bible says about money. Jesus talked about money more than any other single subject in the Bible. He talked about it more than heaven and hell. He talked about money. He talked about money more than anything else. So we have to have understanding. What does Jesus say? What does God say about money for better or worse? What does he say? What are the principles that he teaches us about money? We must have understanding. But because this man was slothful and because he didn't have understanding, his field was grown over with thorns and nettles covered at surface. That's like a curse. Thorns represent curses. And so you can bring it. Did you know you can bring a curse on your finances? You can. I'm not saying you're cursed if you don't tithe. Some people believe that. If you believe that, you can believe that. I don't believe that, that we're cursed because we're redeemed from the curse of the law, but I believe we can bring a curse on our finances with our words. 
and with our lack of good stewardship. We just, in other words, when I say that, what I'm saying is I believe the enemy, we just open a door for the enemy. When, when we don't take good care of our finances, when we don't understand, when we're ignorant, see the Bible says, be ignorant of the, don't be ignorant of the devil's devices. So when we're ignorant of the devil's devices, when we're ignorant of what the word says, then we can allow an open door for the enemy. And thorns are a sign of the curse. And the stone wall was broken down. Then uh, Solomon saw and considered it. And he looked on it and received instruction. And here's another revelation. Yet a little slumber, a little sleep, a little folding of the hands. See, if, if you're not alert, if you're not spiritually alert, the Lord will give you and tell you where to sow. But if you just want to yawn and say, uh -huh, I'm, I'm going to ignore that. You just want to sleep through the instruction. If you just want to, to slumber, if you want to be lazy, if you don't want to sow where God's telling you to slow, you want to be spiritually dull, in other words. Let me put it that way. You can be spiritually dull because you're not looking for the next place of harvest. I'm op Listen to me. I'm always looking for the next place to sow. I'm always looking for that unction in my spirit of that next place to sow. You know, like a stock, a, a, a stock investor is always looking for that next stock. He's always looking for that next stock. He's always looking to hit that next stock. I'm always looking for my, my next harvest. That means I'm always looking for where I need to sow next. Where is the Lord leading me to sow? Because the Lord will always lead you to sow somewhere. You cast your bread. Listen, you cast your bread upon many waters and then you get back whole loaves. You cast your bread, your crumbs. You cast these crumbs, just these pieces of bread on many waters and you get back loaves, you get back massive harvest, but you've got to be looking. You can't be dull in spirit. You've got to be sharp in spirit, alert to where the Lord wants you to sow. So if you're slothful, if you're not taking care of the finances the Lord has given you, if you, if you lack understanding in the kingdom finance realm, or if you're dull in spirit, you're sleeping in the spirit where the Lord is trying to wake you up. So over here, so over here, so over here, then here's what can happen. Your poverty will come like a stalker. And your need as an armed man, like a stalker. So I discern that there's been financial stalkers. You know, I had a, a stalker in the natural, a, a woman who was stalking me. She showed up in my Pray for Jennifer group. Hopefully she's not on this broadcast. She's been ordered by the court to back off. But I saw her. She went to my Pray for Jennifer group. I saw her in there stalking me. You know, stalkers cause stress. Stalkers cause uh, stalkers cause all kinds of, 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 of stress. They can cause fear. You know, when you have financial lack, the spirit of fear comes and tries to pounce on you. The spirit of fear comes and tries to pounce on you when you're, when you're lacking. So poverty is a stalker. And so you must not be ignorant of the devil's devices. You must be alert to where the Lord wants you to sow. And you must be taking good kingdom care of your finances. So let's pray against these financial stalkers today, right? Can we pray against these financial stalkers? We need to repent. Father, I thank you right now that we repent for not handling rightly your finances. If we've been lack in that area, Father, I ask you to forgive us. If you've told us to sow somewhere, we didn't sow somewhere, Father, forgive us. If we've been ignorant about your kingdom principles with money, please forgive us. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Just take a moment to repent. Please forgive us, Lord. Please forgive us, Lord. We're going to pray in just a minute. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm making a note here. Thank you, Lord. Now let's pray against these financial stalkers in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. That you forgive us, that you cleanse us for all unrighteousness, God, in Jesus' name. I ask you, Father, in the name of the Lord, to help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. 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 
Help us, Lord. We stand against these financial stalkers now in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every financial stalker that's come against your finances now in the name of the Lord. I break the powers of financial stalkers in our lives in Jesus' name. The enemy coming to kill, steal, and destroy our finances, I break it in the name of Jesus. I come against these assignments to rob from our vine in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that as we give, as we tithe, that you rebuke the devourer of our finances in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask you to bring a repayment, to bring a payback to all those who have repented today, all those who have stood and said, I will make it right, God. I will do things your way, God. I will not be slothful in my finances, God. I will study the kingdom financial principles, God. I will sow where you tell me to sow, God. I thank you, Lord, for all of those in Jesus' name who have prayed that prayer, who have repented in their heart. I thank you, Lord, that you bring double for their trouble. I thank you, Lord, that you bring payback, that you pay back, you pay back what the enemy stole, even if it was in our own ignorance, even if it was in our own sloth, even if it was in our own lack of awareness or disobedience to sow where you've told us to sow, God, we're asking you, give us another chance right now. We're going to make it right. We're going to set it right. And I break the power of those financial stalkers over your life in the name of Jesus over my life. Those stalkers, 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 creeping stalkers in the name of Jesus. We say cease and desist. We put a cease and desist order against you you creepy stalkers in the name of the Lord. And I thank you, Lord. I call your people blessed right now in Jesus' name. I call you blessed in the name of the Lord. Amen. Those creepy stalkers have nothing on you. We are going to stand against it. You need to keep praying to break the power of those financial stalkers, but you need to do your part of the natural and get yourself in line. Do what God's telling you to do. Some of you need to, to, to sow a seed today to break the financial stalkers' power over your life. Some of you need to sow a seed of repentance because the Lord has told you over and over to sow and you've not done it. Praise God. If you want to sow a seed for that, you know where to do it. You want to sow a seed to break the financial stalkers back. Go do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair, whatever. I know the power of breaking, working a seed, break, sowing a seed to break a cycle because I've done it. That might need, be need something you need to do. The Lord showed me very clearly about the financial stalkers this morning when I was reading uh, in, uh, in Proverbs, the financial stalkers. Some of the times it's our fault. Sometimes it's just the devil intruding. Um, money itself is not evil, but it can be the root of evil if you worship it. But we need money to do the uh, the works of the Lord to pay our bills. He wants us to be prosperous. So be free today. If you want to sow a seed, I invite you to do that, to break that financial stocking assignment. You've repented now and you need a repayment in Jesus name. Let's go back into worship. I love you guys. Sorry it was late this morning. I do not know what's up with the Wi-Fi. It's for lack of time that I don't call at and I'm just far too busy to sit on the phone for two hours. Uh, but we uh, will, uh, yeah, no more sleeping on the finances. We will be back tomorrow and hopefully we'll solve this problem. I, th I did order a new device yesterday uh, to keep the, uh, the, the uh, Facebook from going down. And of course today, of course, the Facebook doesn't go down, uh, which was good. So bless you. We'll be back with you uh, tomorrow. And uh, don't, don't forget to go sign up for ahop.tv for the Inner Healing and Mass Deliverance Conference.